I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Chinese ancient ship for explorers. I'm going to start over here on the left hand side, put two fingers and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line left to right off the page. Come down a little bit, we're going to do it again, wavy wavy line across the page. One more if you can fit it. Wavy, wavy line across the page. Come over here, put one finger and a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a straight line down, connect, straight line over, leave it floating, slightly curved line down, curved line over, connect. Come right up here at the top, we're going to draw a slightly curved line up, little straight line down, straight line across, curved line up, curved line up, straight line across, little straight line down, little straight line in, curved line down, and connect. Come inside this space right here and we're just going to draw slightly curved line down, cross, cross. Right on this space we're going to draw a baby circle, curved line inside. We're going to fill this space in right now since we've got our black out. On top we draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. Come back to the bottom, draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line, up and connect. Come over to the far right and we're going to draw little boxes. We're all going to end up with a different amount. I'm going to do four, then I'm going to do another line, five, one more. six boxes on the bottom. Alright, come all the way over to this point and we're just going to draw one, two straight lines. Come down a little bit, one, two straight lines. Come over one more, one, two straight lines. Okay, now come over to this space and we're going to draw one, two straight lines and one, two straight lines. Now come up to this top part right here and we're going to draw one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We're good. Now come up to the top and we're going to draw curve line out, back, connect. 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 Curve line out, back connect, curve line out, back connect. Right on this space right here I'm just going to add another curve line up, back connect. Okay. Now we're going to be doing overlaps. Some are going to fit, some aren't. Just try and do the best you can. As an example, curve line up, straight line down, curve line over, jump over, straight line, straight line up, curve line. Come to the next one. Curve line out, straight line down, 
straight line, jump over. Now we can't fit the whole thing, so we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line up, straight line. Come to the next one, curve line out, straight line down, straight line, jump over, straight line up, which we can fit, curve line, connect. Now we're on this big one. Curve line out, straight line down, straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line up, curve line, connect. Next one, curve line out, straight line down, straight line over, jump over, straight line, can't quite fit it, I'm just going to add my little curve line on the top. All right. Curve line over, straight line down, straight line, jump over, straight line up, curve line, connect. Curve line up, straight line down, straight line over, jump over, straight line, curve line, connect. One more, curve line out, straight line down, straight line over, jump over, straight line, straight line up curve line. All right. Now we're going to fill in each of these spaces with little straight lines. Now what's amazing about these is these are the sails for the ship. Now think back on what the these are also sails. Think back on how the Europeans made their ships with like three masts, this one has eight. It shows you a difference in the way of construction. But all of these are sails. Take your time. This one has a lot of drawing, not so much coloring. Straight lines across. Jump over. And to me, I think the construction of their ships as opposed to the Europeans is very interesting because these ships were a lot earlier out on the ocean and open seas. They think the Chinese were sending out these kinds of ships in the 1300s all the way to 1435, which is way earlier than Columbus in 1492. So these were master ship builders all the way back then. Okay, I think that's all. We'll be able to tell once we start coloring. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a multicultural crayon. I think this is peach apricot, beige. It's a light color and I'm coloring in these spaces which represent the sails. If you have one of those colors, great. If you don't, you can use yellow. You can use orange lightly. Yellow-orange. You can use pink, give it a different look, all the way across we're going to use this color. Then I'm going to take my red and I'm coloring all of these spaces and so much of this is so that you can see what you drew. Sometimes it's hard to do until you start coloring. So this is all Spaces colored in. Next, I took red violet and I did this specifically because I wanted the post or the mass of the sails to show. So I made all of these red violet that are holding up the sails all the way across. Then, because I want my ship to be balanced. Another way is through color. So I took my red violet and I did all of these boxes, red violet. 
No reason, just artistically, that's what I thought. It needed a pop of color down here. Okay, next, I took a light green and I did this decoration, light green. And I found a nice brown to color in the ship. Now, their ships were made out of wood, just like the explorers used Europeans. But it looks to me like they were possibly a lot bigger than uh, what the Europeans were using. Now, what I would suggest, because you want this to look good, take your time on the drawing for one session, then Part two, have a session just for coloring. Because you want this to look nice. They're really beautiful ships. Okay, so that's brown. Then, I took my regular dark blue and I just added dark wavy lines for my bottom section. You can add more or less, up to you. And then I took the same blue and I looped de looped the bottom part all the way across. And the darker lines gives you a little bit of texture so it's not flat looking. You, as always, will do a way better job than I am. Because you got some space to fill in on the bottom and also on the top. So once I've got the blue on the bottom, this is regular blue, I come back in and with my blue-green, I loop-de-loop -loop the top. Now, if you drew big enough, fortunately, you won't have too much to do on top. Because you should fill up the whole space. And the thing to remember on this is that you want some of the sky, because that's what this is, to peek through the sails and the setup of the ship. So you're going to bring your blue turquoise blue green down so that you can still see it and again you will do a way better job than me plus every single color that I use you can now choose your own color you're the artist make some choices okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay this was Chang Ha's Admiral of the Treasure Ships. This is his ship. From 1371 to 1435, they explored all the oceans and areas around China, way before Christopher Columbus. Okay, bye-bye.